Hello everyone, it's me, Coffee Stitcher, in a new location. Back for those of you who remember my orange chair. Look, I'm back in it. Yay! Um, it's been it's been a two it's been two weeks. Uh, um, yes. <laughs> um, all right. So we're, we're basically done moving in. We're to the hanging artwork and figuring out final placement of things. So hopefully next week when you see behind me, you'll see like my Carol and all my normal, all the normal accoutrement for me. Um, this is my nightstand. You see a whole bunch of books on it and Duffy and Honey Bear and my, my, my jewelry box. God bless coffee. Mm. All right, so um, I've got a handful of things to show you this week. Um, I uh, actually, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, ah. So I've got a little bit of haul. Um, Sorry, this is so, I'm so scattered right now, y'all. <laughs> I'm still getting, getting readjusted to everything and trying to figure out placement of things. Okay, there we go. All right, let's do this, yo. Um, so I've got some haul. I've got some FFOs to show. Some, I couldn't remember if I'd shown them already or not, um, but since they're not currently on walls and I can access them, you're seeing them now. One of them I know you haven't, unless you are on Instagram. Um, I've got a new start planned that I'll show you. Um, I did get a little stitching done before the move. I got barely any during the move. Um, and I've gotten to start back so far. So, um, and I think there's a little bit of, of Q&A. So, um, we'll dive right into that. And, uh, yeah. Cheers. All right, so, um, Patty Ernest, uh, what's up? I don't know if that's what you meant, but by putting the Z there, I immediately flash back to the 90s of, what's up? Um, she needs some info. Who am I getting my Krynic packs from? Uh, from Three Owl Threads on Facebook. It's part of the Nest Egg. She is currently on vacation, so she's not logging orders at the moment. Um, but it's Trisha. She actually just did a video about the nest eggs. So hop on over to her floss tube channel, 3L Threads, and uh, check it out. Um, but to put a link would be a little difficult because of the whole Facebook being a weird thing. But it's on Facebook, and it's 3L Threads. Uh, Tegan B, that's really cool. Um, the and then to answer your question how do i count the stitches that i put in a piece at a time if it's a paper pattern that i'm marking off uh then i count as i mark through stitches and every hundred or whatever the usually at 100 is when i will switch but i'll switch colors at that point and that's how i keep track of it um if it's a digital pattern then i count it and i write it down i put it whatever, like, when I get a segment done, I'll count how many there are, and I'll put that in my calculator. Then when I do the next segment, I'll go back and add it again, <laughs> add to it. It's the only way I've found to do that. Um, Robert Percenter, um, thank you, well, thanks everyone for the well wishes with the move. Um, and awesome, I hope you'll let us know what you're well, if you're in face on Instagramania, definitely post there. But if you're on Instagram, let us know. Um, Jasmine Ravenclaw asks, um, since you have a villain shirt, who is your favorite Disney villain and why? Uh, Ursula, hands down, Ursula. Um, close seconds, Maleficent, Isma.
Mid Ursul is my homegirl. Um, Ivy Kruger. Um, will I be doing a house tour when I move? No. Um, I may show y'all my stitchy area, um, once things are a little more settled, but that, that's gonna be, I don't tend to do full house tours. Um, for one thing, I don't want to make people motion sick, and for another thing, I feel like I need some level of privacy, and I think my other half would agree. Robin B. asks, what happens when Magical Stitches is over? Do you go on to a different series? And I believe the answer is yes, we go on to a different series. They've been taking suggestions and recommendations. Um, I know last year it was all Jane Austen themed. Um, so obviously this year was Harry Potter. So we don't know yet what next year will be. Um, I don't know if we'll be in houses, like if we're just going to continue doing the house thing and winning points. Um, or if it's just going to be challenges. I'm going to be very curious to see. And I think that's it for the Q and the A. All right, so let's talk about haul. So I got my usual shipment from, from 3L Threads. I got my, um, well, uh, uh, uh. Okay, got my, my nest egg. Boop. Okay, so I got my four Krynix. I'm not really sure. I, one of them I think is an is a brown. But I got four Krynix. That one I'm pretty sure is blue merengue, but don't quote me on that. That's an orange one. And this I think is cat's eye, maybe, or I don't know. Or it might be Brazilianite. Ta da! But they're beautiful, regardless. Okay. Then I got my usual order of general arts. So we've got Sea Spray, Schoolhouse Red, and Slate. Something Blue, Shutter Green, and Pomegranate. Schoolyard, Adzuki, and Grape Fizz. Yeah. So we got all the, the new colors that were released, and Shaker White. Ah. So, as always, appreciative of the wonderful Trisha. Um, and then I stopped by Stitch Niche, and I got a couple of things. I got this piece of fabric that I thought I was going to use for a project, but I decided I want to use I, on a different color fabric. So I don't know what I'll use it for, but it's Desert Stone um, Joblin from Witchelt. Like I said, not sure what I'll use it for, but I'm sure at some point I will. Uh, and then most of what I got was patterny things. I got this year's Just Cross Stitch Halloween magazine. Um, and there are several in here that I really like. Um, one of my favorite ones, though, is... Ah, Tunnel of Trees. With the trick-or-treaters, one of which is Dorothy. Um... Uh, I also really like, there are several of the smalls that I actually really liked, but I really like the Nevermore bird here. So I got that. I got the next two patterns that were available in the words to live by. So keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see a shadow and you can't direct the wind, but you can adjust the sails. Uh, 
right. And then Nora Corbett's uh, Queen Bee, or Miss Queen Bee. And I have a plan for her. So, there we go. Um, all right. So that was my haul. Um, yay haul. Um, all right, so moving along to, uh, the FFOs. So several people had asked about my favorite finish, and it is the Rocky Horror one. You're getting all sorts of glare and reflection. It was not supposed to have glass. This was done, um, at Michael's with one of their just ready-to-go frames. Um, back when Stitch and it didn't have a frame where it was right after Kathy had passed away and then I think her husband passed not too terrible long after that either. Um, so this was the, a birthday present for G2. Um, so, and Leslie of Under the Sea Fabrics helped me get the, the mat for it. So, there we go. Um, uh, yeah, and I basically, and um, it's the Clouds Factory design, but what I did was I went, there's a website called the Anal Retentive Costume for Harry, or for Rocky Horror, um, and I literally went down it and used as many pictures from the film as I could to try to adapt it into, um, into the, the actual project itself. So... Um, like for instance, to give them their pale makeupy faces, Frank, Magenta, and Columbia were both stitched with blended threads. Um, I adjusted Eddie's costume significantly and Brad's. Um, Frank had a fair amount done to him. Um, Rocky has little French knot nipples. <laughs> so, uh, there's that. And then, um... Again, I don't remember if I showed you all the FFOs of these, but the Tammy designs from Brooks Books. So, Autumn Tammy. And I got these frames at Ikea. Winter Tammy. Summer Tammy. And Spring Tammy. And then, finally, I got our wedding sampler picked up. So here it is, all nice and framed. There's my... There's the detail on the frame, which I liked because it sort of gave the filigree like you see on really old books. Um, so there we go. So that's finally been picked up. All right. So things that I have worked on. Um, the, before we did the move, I did get a page finish on Cheshire Moon. Um, and a couple of you have seen how I'm planning to finish this because I couldn't resist going ahead and taking a picture. So, but here's where I'm at. I've got two pages left. So we are getting there. I really love how this one's turning out. So, and it's by Tempting Tangles. Um, and I do believe the pattern... I mean, you can get it on Etsy. I don't know for sure if she released them through Creative Poppy or not. I don't remember. I know some of them are available through Creative Poppy and some of them aren't. And then there was one day this week I got to work a little on quilts. And, and by a little, I mean very, very little. Um, that little bit there, and then that row there. That, that's all I got done. <laughs> so, um, last night was actually the first time I really got to sit down and properly stitch. Um, and that was on Emerald City. 
from Owl Forest because this the last part of the actual Emerald City itself is here. There's still four more parts to go. So I got that part done. Um, I'm almost out of both Krennics. I did buy another mint julep, but I didn't buy another green because I didn't have it. So um, I'm going to pause on this one for a little bit, order a spool of the um, the green, um, and then go from there. Um, uh, and then the new start is going to be one that a lot of you have probably seen. It's the Universal Monsters Sal from Witchy Stitcher. Um, and I'm going to be doing it on Nessie from Under the Sea Fabrics and orienting it this way. Um, that way the one, the, one of the lighter sections is where, um, the Creature of the Black Lagoon will be. Cause I was a little worried about losing the water, um, there, but with that one slightly lighter patch, I should be okay. Um, so I'm looking forward to starting that. Um, cause I feel like that's my reward for this move. This was a, this was a move. Um, anyhow, that is about it for me today. Um, the homework this week in Magical Stitches is, um, a thousand stitches on a project that makes us want to quit. Um, so I will most likely be working on Paradise Lost because of that damn cloud and that damn banner. So, um, I'm gonna work on those. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I'll work. What I decide I'm going to do is, um, I'll alternate between the two projects. So, and I don't honestly think I may sit down today and get the first room of Universal Monsters done. So that may be a thing that happens. Um, we shall see. And if so, then I'll just be focusing, trying to focus between Emerald City and Paradise. So, um, if there were a thousand stitches left in Emerald City, <laughs> then this green makes me want, the metallic makes me want to give it up. But I'm so close. And then once that's done, there's really not going to be a whole lot of metallic left. Um, there will probably be a little for Glinda, but I don't expect there will be any in the Wicked Witch. Unless the Golden Cap is present. But we'll see. So, Anyhow, um, that's it for me. I will see y'all next week. Of course, always drop the Q&A, because I love the Q&A. I'll see y'all next time.